Productivity is the word of the moment. Everyone is trying to increase efficiency, which is great of course. One of the best ways to increase efficiency is through the use of add-ins. These add-ins can do wonders, from automating the mundane, like managing point clouds, cleaning the Revit project, all the way through to producing quality renders. And so a lot of Revit users run Revit with a long list of add-ins. Here's a list of the top 10 according to ArcDaily. But have you considered that by running all of these add-ins at the same time, you might actually be shooting yourself in the foot? You see, with every addition, that's another thing that Revit has to process on startup. And some add-ins aren't as refined as they could be. This user has noticed that by installing a handful of plugins, they are seeing a major decrease in Revit speed. Well, Autodesk has some advice. To manage slow performance, we are to disable add-ons to identify if these are related to the slow performance. Autodesk then provides a link that you can click on, which offers advice on how to disable add-ins. There are apps to manage this for us. Here are the suggestions. Diroots, a must-have add-in for all Revit users, has a mention. In the Diroots version, you can see all add-ins by Revit version. If, like me, you have multiple versions installed, that's really handy. And it's as easy as toggling the add-in on and off. Just ensure Revit is closed as you toggle. Here in the demonstration, I turn off the Matterport add-in. Start by selecting Matterport in the Names column, then close Revit. Toggle the on-off switch to off. And as I relaunch Revit, you can see that the add-in has been disabled. The alternative is the Stantec add-in manager, which works in very much the same way. Clicking on the link takes you to the hosted page where you can download and install. Once you have that open, this is basically how it works. Firstly, ensure that Revit is closed. Then, up here select the Revit version that you are working with. Then find the add-in that you want to disable. And finally, click the toggle button down in the bottom right-hand corner. To turn an add-in back on, Click the Select Disabled button, which will list all of the currently disabled add-ins for the Revit version that you have selected up the top. And now, simply toggle it back on. Now, it may seem odd to install something that removes another thing. So I'd like to show you how this can be done without having to install anything. Notice here on the Diroots version, the file path of where apps are stored on your computer. So now in this demonstration, I'm going to disable Bluebeam. First, close Revit. And path to the reported location. This is highlighted on screen for your reference. Then cut and paste it into a separate folder. I have this on my desktop. Then relaunch Revit. And notice that it's no longer available. To bring anything back, just do the reverse. But you will need admin credentials.
Now you can manage the add-ins that help you manage your project. Give it a go yourself and let me know what you think. Remember that likes, comments and subscriptions go a long way in helping me give you more. Bye for now. That's the end of the video. I hope that you learned something new and that you found it interesting. 